in New York City. Sun is out, and we have a sunny disposition because the Sports Emmys tonight were nominated for the best daily studio show. Mm. Who are we up against? Are we up against that damn MLB tonight? They won last year? Yeah, I think PTI. Pardon the interruption. The Jump, Rachel Nichols Show. Okay. Uh, MLB tonight again. Back to back. Okay. I think somebody else. Is Sports Center in the line? I said a lot. Oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot. There we go. Bob Lee. Well, Bob hadn't been doing it for a while, so I don't know if, if oh. he's going to squeeze in under the uh, under the the wire. Does he get a send off Emmy because mm-hmm. he might be retiring from the no. Oh, I don't know if he's retiring. He's on a sabbatical right now. Talking to Reggie Miller on the call last night, double overtime, Bucks and the Raptors. Who's more important to their team, the Greek freak or Kawhi? Kawhi. Kawhi is, is uh, Michael Jackson. The rest of those dudes, Tito, Randy, Jermaine, it, it's Kawhi. Right now, Kawhi Leonard, four straight 30-point point game for the Raptors. The Raptors are uh, playoff record. He's a machine right now. Adam Carolla, the comedian, radio personality, TV host, actor, podcaster, director. When did you feel rich? I don't feel rich. I feel like, I, and I'm not. I'll, I'll tell you who's rich. My wife and my kids are rich. I'm, I'm a donkey that goes out and, and brings back money. They are rich. They live a life that's extraordinary. I live a life of just go out, play the club, get paid, come back, fly south twice, go to the other place. I, I swear to you, they're rich. Ask them. Uh, he's David Cohn, and uh, the new book is out. What's the best prank you ever pulled? The 2000 Subway Series. Um, the middle three games were at Shea Stadium. We're playing the Mets. And George Steinbrenner rearranged the whole furniture at Shea Stadium. He wanted Yankee emblems on the chairs. He hated that we were sitting in Mets chairs. So he brought a moving truck over, all the furniture. He sat there, and there's a, a row of cables for the television on the floor. And I went to George, and I said, those, those aren't supposed to be here. The Mets, they're bugging us. They're stealing our signs, George. The Mets, and he bit hook, line, and sinker. He got down on his hands and knees, started yanking those cables. And then he was going to go complain to Bud Selig, the commissioner. And then he looked at me, and I was red face and laughing. And, and he charged at me. George ran at me. He got real beat, beat red face, and he got me in a hammerlock. And I, you know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> George Steinbrenner got you in a headlock during the World Series. Yes, he did. In, uh, in the middle games at Chase Stadium. And, and, then, and then he started laughing and he said, you better be ready to pitch, young man. And I'm curious what you think of my high school, Little Mason High School in Cincinnati, where we don't have valedictorian anymore because we don't want to embarrass people and have rankings. When I was in junior high, we had best looking. Best looking male. but We had best body and best physique. A 14-year-old girl in dolphin shorts and a sports bra. Like, what? I'm from North Hollywood. We didn't put an emphasis on brains. But if you <laughs> if you look good in shorts, you, you were going places. Tune in to the Dan Patrick Show. Weekday mornings on Audience or the DP Show app.